What's up? We're back, everybody. Potty people in the house. We are back. We made it to another Friday here. Uh, we're going to be going over some questions. My man over here is not uh, feeling 100%, so... I caught your sinus infection. <laughs> I don't. I didn't know that you could catch a sinus infection, but um, I, I guess you can call. catch one. Hello? Hey, we got a phone call. Yes. It's the bank. It's the bank. All right. Thank you very much. Good to go. All right. Okay, we're good to go at the Thank bank. Thank you, far farmers and merchants. Farmers Dude, and the customer service is crazy. The customer service is crazy. What I is called them and he answers. I don't have to press one, press two. No, it's just straight. Sure. Hello, it's Carlos. Yeah. Hey, it's Renzo. How you doing, Renzo? What can I help you with? Yeah, if you're in a small business, and I was with Bank of America for over 20-something uh, years, and they are not uh, small business friendly. Um, especially after this COVID, so we switched banks, and um, it's taken us a little bit of while, but we're back on track, and we're doing. I think we're doing well with them, and they appreciate us as clients, unlike uh, Bank of America. But that'll be for another. Uh, that'll be for another day of. Course. Yeah, we, we talk about Bank of America. Yeah, we're gonna have one with Bank of America, but um, you know, Reds is not, not not feeling that great today, so I no, guess I think no. I'm gonna have to take over. <laughs> And do all the laughing and and all the craziness instead yeah, of us yeah. being the kind of the the, the the straight straight guy. So, but we'll get through it. Uh, I think we're gonna get through some uh, some more. Uh, what was it? Um, kitchen questions. Yeah, more questions. We've been getting a lot of um, inquiries for questions. Yeah, kitchens like you know from handles to cost to yeah. different shapes and right. styles. So we're gonna go over a couple uh, kitchen more question uh, kitchen questions and then um, you wanna start off? All right, let's see. All right, let's, let's see how long we have. See how let's long see, that lasts. Let's see, what, see what we have on kitchens. Let's see how long his voice will last. Yeah. All right. What is the average price range of a kitchen remodel? Um, I would say like on a low end, um, you're probably thinking and looking at about Fifteen thousand or so. Well, think about a full kitchen remodel. You know, like floors, walls, everything. Got it. I mean, a very, very small kitchen, about yeah. fifteen grand, and I would say it runs to about small. maybe what forty grand or so, forty thousand. I mean, obviously, you could you know get a lot more with custom kitchens, and depending on backsplash and appliances and what type of floors. I mean, it can really have a, a, a wide range. But um, I would say anywhere from about fifteen, um, fifteen to forty grand. Or something like that. What's what's been your kind of experience? About twenty five yeah. to fifty. Twenty five to fifty. Yeah. About there, yeah. yeah. Yeah, somewhere around there. Okay. Uh, the, the, I think like the ten, the fifteen ones are more like ten to fifteen are the apartments, the little tiny kitchens. Kind of little tiny kitchens, yeah. not really doing electrical and mm. plumbing. Not really upgrading that Nothing. stuff. Just like kind of replacement and replacement. just in the same area. There's no design. Yeah, no design. There's nothing. There's nothing you can do. It's so small. You're yeah. just like, there's no redesigning. You just paint the cabinets, change yeah. the countertops, add a backsplash, and you're done. Yeah, typically cabinets alone are, you know, what, you know, 10, 15 grand, right? Like it can be, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you got to buy them, put them together, put them up. Um, then you got to put a countertop on them. You can't just leave the cabinets all, all alone on there. Yeah, you got to put plywood on top and then the countertop goes on top yeah so even just that then you have to replace the sink well i guess you don't have to replace the sink mm -hmm. but yeah. someone's got to take it off reinstall it yeah yep and then you have your counter i mean your um, your faucets that you would at least, at least do and then most of the time you got to do a backsplash so it, it's like runs you know you try to do one thing and then you're like well now the backsplash looks bad and now this looks bad right so it kind of continue on into being you know something yeah. that it's going to be a full remodel can i finance a kitchen remodel what finance financing options do I have? Yes, you can uh, finance it. Uh, there are uh, like, like service financial. Um, what else do we have in there? There's uh, like, you know, a refi for your own house that you could do. I guess it wouldn't be you called. You could go to your credit union. If you have a credit union bank, they have um, home remodeling yeah. uh, loans. Regular yeah. banks don't no. so much. But There's also uh, Benji. Um, yeah, you know, I think they switched the name on Benji, but they're it's a American of Homes or something. Yeah, so they're it's just a. Well, I mean, we we have like uh, two or three different options that we can have that um, some um, some. Well, I think they're unsecured to the house, um, so they could do that as long as it's an not. It doesn't have to be an energy efficient product, but it does have to be like a home improvement product. So they have specific loans that dealers have that they can give their customers where it's um, sp only for home improvements and they're at a lower rate than you would have, let's say, for a signature loan because most people that get a home improvement financing 
loan, they uh, they tend to pay it because you know it's actually for for their homes, and so it's they don't get a lot of defaults, so they're able to get some better rates for some of that. But there there's two or three different um, type of options, and even just with financing, when you're talking about fifteen plus, you know, fifteen to fifty thousand um, dollars, you know, not a lot of people might have that saved up. So having financing options for kitchens and other home improvements is, um, I think it's a must. Uh, all right, we're gonna move on to the next question. And can I design my kitchen remodel or is that up to the contractor? Um, I think there's two. So if it's a, a contractor that just installs kitchens, he's not gonna design it. You know, if you get a handyman, he doesn't know nothing about design. You always wanna hire, if you're gonna hire a contractor, you gotta look and see if they're a designer. Someone well dressed like you, <laughs> and make sure they're matching. You know, right, right. You know, you're a kitchen designer. I have no idea. I mean, I'm still learning. So right. I wouldn't. You wouldn't put me. But an exterior house, I could design. But so, the interior kitchen, I'm like, I don't know. And and when you say design, when you say design, do you think it's uh, design, just color design, or function design, or what do you mean by design? It's color, function, style. Um, what you know. Times change, you know, how long is this style gonna last? Right. Is it gonna last 10 years, is it gonna last five years, or is this a style that's, you know, proven the last 50 years? Right, matching. Matching everything you want. You want everything to go in the yeah. tones yeah. with it. If you're gonna be in gray, stay in gray town. You're gonna be white, white town. Yeah, <laughs> and then you might take into consideration like the rest of the house. Yeah, um, yeah. When the house was built. Yeah. Yeah. Right now, Andrew's kitchen, we did it, and it's, I think he has to remodel his whole house. <laughs> doesn't fit yeah. the kitchen's too nice it's like what <laughs> that happens a lot where yeah. you're just like you, well you, you're you gotta make the, the rest of the house match the, the kitchen it's like the remodeling fever right you yeah. like you can get into it I remember uh, once we just we finished some cabinets then that looked bad I mean then it made the countertops look bad then he's like how about the countertops and then it made the backsplash look bad then how about the backsplash and now my floors look bad and it kind of leads into yeah. that you just know? get your kitchen and do it all people yeah most of the time, that's just the way to go. Do it all. Just pull it, pull it all down. I don't mean take it all the way down to the bones and every sense. You can still leave up the drywall, and we can kind of patch that yeah. part. But most of the time, you just want to get from fresh and even resale value. It's you know a lot of people like it when you have a you know the bathrooms and kitchens remodeled um, and kind of and if you blend it in with the rest of the house, it'll look like it's already been there. Okay, um, I am I able to extend my countertops? Uh, yeah, I mean, it just depends on um, how far and how much room um, room you have. Uh, if you're doing like the design on there, you want to try to have the uh, the longest pieces of countertops that you can. You want to have it like countertops by your, let's say your refrigerator countertops. What's the biggest by stove? piece of slab you could get? Um, well, they have. So a lot of the prefabricated slabs are gonna be, um, you know, eight foot and 10 foot slabs, but you can also really go out and buy, you know, there's just literally slabs where you can get specialty slabs or wherever we can do 16 foot slabs. Oh shit. Yeah. Uh, you're gonna probably be paying triple the amount that you would if you were just getting a- Cause it's coming from the quarry, right? Yeah. I mean, they're just huge slabs and then, you know, you have to take them and fabricate them and get them cut out. Yeah, a lot of waste. Yeah. Um, the other types of countertops are like tile countertops. Most people don't do that anymore because you have like grout on there. Uh -huh. And then you have Corian. Um, you know, <laughs> the next question is going to be talking about that. Okay. <laughs> so I guess we won't go to that. But yes, you can extend them, yeah. you can extend them out and uh, uh, islands. You know, so you have enough space, you're going to get some counter space if you have islands or peninsulas. Um, counter spaces are one of the main complaints that I get from when I'm doing a design is that you know, you're like cooking and I don't have enough counter space to put things on here. Or the other part of the counter space is the actual counter space underneath the cabinets. Okay. Because the appliances need to fit underneath there. So a lot of times they like, you know, the cabinets aren't, aren't tall enough to put appliances and things in there. So when you're redesigning it, you want to make sure that if you have blenders and stuff that you put underneath there that go on top of the counters, those um, that size of those blenders or whatever you're going to put in the toaster oven. Sometimes they have 
um, you know, um, what is it, the, the hot pots or whatever? Yeah, go. the air fryer. Yeah, air fryer. Uh, I love that's the air fryer. His favorite. I uh, make a corn dog in there. It comes out crispy. Nice. A crispy corn dog? Yeah, you ever had a crispy corn no, dog? No, I so, so I guess we're going to be going to Long Beach to try some crispy corn dog over at uh, Renzo's place. So, yeah. Uh, party next week, next Friday. We're going to have our the podcast over in Long yeah. Beach eating some crispy corn dogs. Who needs some corn dogs? Yep. Yeah. Um, All right. What's the different options for countertops? Um, well, we have uh, like granite. Um, they have like a, a um, marble. Yeah, like marble. You have um, a tile. Wood. Uh, you have wood. You have um, um, concrete. 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 I seen it. It's pretty cool. Yeah. When you do it, they add colors, and then you could put impressions in it. I seen people put like yeah. like leaves from their trees outside of their house, and they put them in there. Yeah. And the wood is like kind of like the butcher, the yeah, butcher countertops, the butcher block, and the yeah. one, um, the one that we usually do is a dang it, just uh, going from my mind. Quartz, the yeah, quartz. The I buy uh, it. Yeah, yeah, he buy it. He's the one that buys it all the time. So I would say a good eighty percent of them now are probably quartz because um, they can get you know different type of look onto it. It has like the specks look like the granite. It also have the veins. Like maybe a marble look, but it's man-made and it's put together. And it's easier to take care of. Because yes. I see, what is that? The soap? What is it? The soapstone? Soapstone's hard to take care it's of. It's hard to it take It stains. Care. Porous. Porous and it stains. It looks really nice, but it's... My friend had it and they would freak out. Hey, don't put anything on there. Yeah. Even a water stain could, it could stain. Um, yeah, that, yeah, anything. You know, you put up a, a soda can, a water, wine, any of that stuff that soaks in. So the quartz is pretty much like the the winner right now um and just depending on where where you quartz uh, where you buy the quartz is you know the different costs of that but it holds up pretty well to the heat it holds up very well for the you know the water stains and um it's not as porous as any now it's not invincible so you still have to be a little bit careful with it but it's probably the best stuff we have and i would say about 10 years ago it was astronomical prices but it's it's gotten very reasonable in fact in many cases it's um as as uh as l less expensive as any you know granite and definitely less than any like marble or any of that type of stuff all right cool can a kitchen remodel be energy efficient um your portions of your let's say your water um, dishwasher yeah your dishwasher the your sink the sink um well the faucet on the sink you know for the water you have your energy efficiency if you're changing out your lighting yeah leds your leds you have your um you know your appliances you want them to be all um, energy efficient on there um that's pretty much what you would use for your your energy efficiency on there oh your electrical outlets um sometimes what will happen in the kitchens is that you have to run uh, four or five uh, direct home run wires to the panel and then the panel is an old panel and you got to upgrade that panel so you can get some energy efficiency um, out of there uh, your floors uh, sometimes when you take if you rip all the floors out and you have an exposed you know exposed flooring and you can actually put um, insulation underneath your floors there all right yeah so there's a couple of different things that you can make it you know energy efficient and you can insulate the walls and put new windows yeah bl well blowing insulation um, um in the walls that's true and then um even get some natural lighting now that you can bring some of that stuff up get some natural lighting with some maybe a, a some type of a, um um what's it called the the uh um, skylights yeah skylight. right and then they have the taller the solar uh, solar tubes so you can get some natural light in that and that those type of areas too so yeah you can bring it up to some energy efficiency uh, energy efficient um, products for sure is the plumbing electrical isn't working do I call a contractor or the plumber and electrician um, I mean you can some people uh, kind of want to be their own general contractors where we put in the cabinets and do the painting and then they have their plumber and electrician but it usually holds up the job yeah it holds it up backs it up but you know what I kind of prefer it because it you know if the plumber touches something the toilet breaks over there it's not my fault <laughs> yeah because we do tend to get blamed for everything that everything you know, yeah if you're working on the kitchen and um, the dog poops in the backyard you get blamed for the, <laughs> the poop stain because you've been working there for the last um, month and a half yeah. but um 
you know, uh, or like let's say you were to hire us, if it's simple plumbing, simple electrical, most of the time our own guys can kind of do some of that stuff. But once it gets into like rewiring, yeah, home runs and home run wires and stuff like that, you want to get some guys who you know know what they're doing with electrical licenses and plumbing. So to me, the three top things that you should always make sure that you're that's always in like really good shape. It's gonna be your roof because that protects the, the house. Your plumbing because you can flood the house and your electrical because you can burn that down. Those are like the top three things as far as safety goes that I believe should be in top shape. You shouldn't mess around and just, you know, hire your handy guy, you know, just off the, or the dude off the back of the truck for those three. Uh, those three products are really the most important. And even the workman's comp is, is um, you know, higher, let's say, on roofing and some of that type of stuff. So you want to make sure that you got the specialist doing that um, in your kitchens. You don't want it flickering. You don't want it leaking. Um, you want to make sure all that stuff is connected um, connected correctly. All right. Do I, do I have options to choose choose sinks from or is there a standard sink size uh no i mean it, it has different different sizes it can go from everywhere from 30 to you know 36 inch sink you have um, you know cast iron uh you have stainless steel you got like farm sinks um you know they're different colors different shapes so the important thing is when you're doing those solid countertops is that you know you you have the sink before you're putting in the countertop because they got to do, uh, they got to cut it out and they got to know exactly what the, you know, that sink is going to be so they can cut, you know, manufacture or cut, or cut it out. A lot of the, um, a lot of the pre-manufactured sinks already have, I mean, the, the uh, pre-manufactured countertops already have, maybe have the standard, you know, 30, 36 inch cut in them. And then there's a undermount sink and then there's an overmount sink. Um, we like the undermount sink that way you could just push you know any of the water or anything just right into the sink uh the overmount kind of sits on top of it and then you end up getting like crud around the outside or it gets nasty and you can't really push the stuff in on, on the inside so that varies on what the customer um wants um you know if it wants to be big then there's double sinks and then there's a one sink and then there's deep sink so you probably have about 30 or 40 different options on the on the sinks just depending on which you know which one you want to go with and, and colors okay is a permit required for a kitchen remodel well i'll leave that one up to you um everything from changing the garbage disposals require a permits required yes yeah Yeah, because it involves electrical and you know you gotta have the right switch for it you gotta have a dedicated line for it and the city wants to make sure you do that so you don't bring your house down yeah a light a ceiling fan yeah i got a permit i don't know about the faucet if you need a permit for that i don't think so i mean you know the inspectors always tell me anything above 500 is generally like yeah what the cost of the material and the labor if it's above 500 and you know generally you need a permit and so even the cabinets um they, they want to come out and make sure that you put your cabinets in onto the studs yeah so making sure that they're not hitting wires yeah and, they don't really go over, um, you know, so they're not going over how the bath, how like a bathroom or a kitchen or any of that looks. No, they, no, they just want to go over and make sure they, that they show see. up on the roughs. Yeah, the rough electrical, rough plumbing. That's it, and then they come at the final look at it. Yeah, That's so it. if they designed it incorrectly, they don't care about that. It's it, um, the permits are for rough electrical ba bu building and safety yeah yeah so how it's being built making sure it's not going to fall off the wall and cabinets do fall off the wall if you don't put them in correctly and then um the safety behind it and going back to plumbing and electrical making sure that the connections are all done correctly so that you don't have any leaking and your electrical so you don't have any any type of shorts but they're not checking up on the painting or you know what styles you're picking yeah up. they don't care yeah they don't care yeah. and then you know um, depending, you know, you're also removing walls on a lot of kitchens. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Beams, yeah. soffits. That one, guys, if you're going to not pull a permit, um, that's the one where I would make sure that you guys are pulling permits. That one is Moving wall, walls, yeah. Removing walls because that can come down. A lot of times you have these guys do not know what they're doing. They're just pulling that stuff off. I've gone to homes where yes, yeah, you can start to see the start to see it buckle because it was a, you know they they didn't put up the correct um, you know correct supports to make sure that that that's going to hold that other span. That wall is typically there for a reason. Um, so you got to make sure. Even when I've done some walls where 
we haven't gone out and done like a permit like that. I still have somebody draw something up. We still take pictures of it um, just in case something like the city or whatever comes by. And then we have proof that, you know, what we did and how we um, how we tied that all in. All right. Is adding a dishwasher part of the kitchen remodel or do I have to pay separately for that? Well, that depends on whether, you know, on the contract. If it's included or an allotment, we give an allotment for it. Yeah. Because, I mean, the prices can range. I mean, you can get one for Wi-Fi and a TV in there and order eats and whatnot, you know? Just... But, but then you can buy a used one and just put a new door on it. Or you, you had one from before and yeah. you, we just uh, r and r did. We, you know, re re removed it and reinstalled it. Have you seen those dishwashers where they make it part of the cabinets? You can't even tell it's a dishwasher. You're like, where's the buttons? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's like, the panel is yeah, a, the, the panel of the cabinet. Yeah, it looks, it looks really nice. It looks cool. We do that with the refrigerator. And usually the, those are like German, German brand dishwashers. Yeah. Those German. Yeah, they're like, cu they're like custom panels that you put on that you match them with, uh, with what you have on, on your kitchens, and um, you know, just just in general, the uh, the dish, I mean, uh, the that dishwasher, um, in general, I like to have the like if you go buy them at, I'm just you know naming a, a Pacific Sales or any one of the Howards, or Howards or Sears. I don't even know if Sears Best is Buy. The, Best Buy. I like when they install it. And they do it, you know, we get it all ready for them because now the warranty is like with them. They yeah. we bought it from them. They installed it. So we leave it prepared, ready for them to come in. But I say it's about a 50-50. Some people um, just want us to install it. Um, so, you know, just depending on what, you know, like Andrew, he bought them and we installed them for him. Yeah. So even though I told him, hey, it's better to get it through them because... You know, because they'll give you the warranty because they installed it, but he felt okay with us doing it. So it just all depends on how you guys, uh, how the customer wants to get it done. All right. Sounds good. Okay. Um, that's the end of the questions today. Man, so we usually got like Rainy a little bit more fired up, Sorry. a couple more laughs, but you know, we got allergies, man. They're killing me. Oh, uh, allergies. I, I got the COVID allergy. Oh, no. The the COVID-19 allergy. Yeah. And all of a sudden, COVID went away after, Ju after uh, June 15th. It's right? gone. It's gone, folks. Okay. And now everyone's got allergies, right? Um, everybody's sick now. I don't have to wear a mask anymore. Yeah. Now I'm actually getting sick. Yeah. So we have to, well, maybe the mask was helping you not get allergies, right? So yeah, it was I'm telling you. Yeah, it was helping for some, but not for COVID. It was helping for, for allergies. But we'll see you next week. Thank you for uh, coming for our uh, questions. Don't from, forget to like, subscribe, and follow. Yeah, and Make follow some comments. Us. Yes. And um, if you guys are looking for kitchen designs, especially, you're probably going to have me go out there. Um, I really do enjoy doing that and, and designing it and, you know, just give us a call. Thank you very much. We'll see you guys uh, next week. Bye.